What a senior engineering project is, is it's an engineering practicum so that the students will have an opportunity to work with a company, perhaps a manufacturing company, a hospital, some other company who has real world problems to solve. So the engineers who have had all their different courses, they now have to make decisions into uh, decisions about what are the techniques, what are the engineering principles, what are the insights they have to bring to bear to decide how to solve that problem. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So we're uh, group number nine, and we are working on a wireless vital sign monitor that can monitor the um, obviously the vital signs of post-surgery patients. So we're hoping that by the end of the semester, we will have a working device that can monitor the heart rate, the oxygen saturation, and the EKG trace of a patient. I think we'll have the well, patient connected to the device and then the information will be transported to um, an Android and we can hopefully see a graph of the EKG trace. It was very cool because the very first day we got the project, um, we were getting called up and you know we had not known each other before this project. So I got to see my group mates and then they gave us a box full of equipment and that was intimidating but also very exciting because we had no idea what we were getting into. And the first thing we did is we sat down and said, what are we even working with here? So kind of just seeing, you know, all the different stuff that we're going to be, get the chance to actually play with, um, that was very, very exciting to see. I think uh, Professor Wildblood selected us specifically for this project because our, our interest in our secondary field. So me and Alishan are both computer science uh, secondary fields and that, that, that helps us with the aspect of like getting the software running. And Jordan is uh, pre-med, so she gets that uh, background in all the that EKG readings and all the health, and uh, the health side no. of things. Something that we're exploring is the economic impact of a device like this in um, operating rooms and also in gastrointestinal suites. Some clients just go unmonitored after their operation um, and that can sometimes be pretty dangerous. So if we have a reliable uh, method of monitoring every patient um, that's less cumbersome and cheaper, um, then the hope is at some day down the line it'll be more widely adopted and you know so it could potentially so save sure lives. That exact same thing is repeated somewhere. We are making an automatic shoe cleaning device that um, cleans the soles of your shoes and it's intended to kind of be for residential use you know you step on it on your way into the house um, for has, like, six to ten seconds and then continue on your way in. And with that you get a shoe that is clearly quite dirty. We did and some research on, on how much dirt's actually getting tracked into your house and um, it's kind of alarming results. All it really is is you have a motor that's spinning a bunch of brushes on multiple different shafts and whenever you step on it the motor runs and spins these brushes and just kind of scrubs the bottom of your feet to remove all the dirt from all the cracks and um, crevices in the shoe. And it removes most of the dirt. A lot of times in the classroom you're just getting lectured all day long. You never get that chance to really do something uh, as a project and really kind of see how that opportunity is for working on something from start to finish and really ha having a say and a part. I've learned that um, anything that can go wrong will go wrong <laughs> in terms of building this. It's kind of been a challenge just making all the components work together um, and finding the resources we need to Most build of this them. Dark stuff is just from the stain. But first few weeks we, um, you know, tried, you know, working a lot to make sure we wouldn't get behind. But even that, we still ended up having to work you know, multiple, multiple hours to make sure things are done for, for deadlines and things like that. It's almost like having a, like a co-op or internship during the semester. Uh, we had a CAD design in the beginning on a computer, and now we're, you can actually step on this, and it actually does run. So I think it's just so rewarding that if we actually were able to physically build something, get the chance to actually see how it runs, and that I was a, I was a part in this uh, design for the future. We're hoping that we might be able to file for a patent, so I think that's pretty beneficial to say that I have a patent on something. We're working on like a sort of a optimization of lumber storage for uh, a company called Morton Buildings. They work in Morton, and uh, with that, we're trying to like figure out where inventory items should go, and like they bundle them and put them on trailers. And we're trying to figure out like where to put all these bundles, I can where to put all these materials, the just try to make it as efficient as possible. As uh, right now, um, they don't have any like locations for their backyard, which is where all these items are. So it's like trying to walk into a Home Depot and there's no aisle numbers or anything and you're just trying to find something. That's sort of what they're trying to do right now in this like outdoor backyard. And uh, we're just trying to add all these locations to it to make it a little bit more easy.
it's going to reduce the distance traveled of the forklift operators in the back, which uh, ideally cuts down on costs for uh, moving this lumber. Uh, it's just going to improve the organization down the line, so when they get new hires or something like that, they can uh, integrate them into the system uh, more smoothly than they would be originally. Originally, they would just kind of have to go in the yard and learn by trial by fire, but now they can kind of have a set system that they can uh, implement easier for the new hires. So we can split these in half, so they can no, like we a staging work area together here. and yeah. we learn how to um, communicate with the company. We learn how to uh, how to deal with the real real problem from the real life and not just the tax problem and we try to find a optimal okay. solution but maybe it's not like a textbook problem it just has a fixed answer for it. Most of the problems we work on in class are just from a textbook and are kind of cut and dry and have a, have a solution but when you work with a real uh, client like Morton Buildings you have to meet their needs which might not always coincide with what you think is the best, but you have to kind of give and take and uh, cooperate with a different client. And it's cool to have some real world exposure through the project. I'd say between 12 and 15% of our students are hired by the companies for which they've done their senior engineering project. So that speaks very well that the companies are very, very happy with the result. After all, when a company is going to hire an, an entry level engineer, they want to, them to be able to work successfully in projects at their company. Well, what better way to test them out than to have them work on a project in their company?